welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing amazing. And we'll be talking about that cold front which is still making its way through the Caribbean and bringing its impacts. There's still that chance of flooding across some areas and uh, many islands have already experienced some heavy rain and even those strong winds and very rough seas offshore. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We're looking at the infrared weather satellite and we can see all of this activity making its way through parts of the Eastern Caribbean. So there's been some additional heavy rain in parts of Puerto Rico, even the Virgin Islands as well, and the Lesser Antilles, particularly the Leeward Islands. So as of right now, as of when I'm recording this, there is some heavy rain uh, moving through islands such as Antigua and Barbuda, and even Montserrat, and earlier in St. Kitts and Nevis as well. So all that activity is continuing to make its way through the area, and there's likely to be more rainfall as we head throughout today. Elsewhere across the region, though, there isn't much happening. There may be some passing showers, but nothing too crazy. It's really that front. And as I mentioned at the start of the week, this would be the main story throughout this week. And that's exactly what's been happening. So let's move on to the rainfall forecast. And here we are seeing it's quite colorful within the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean. Alan Sinkitz and Nevis, Barbuda, and even Montserrat. We're seeing some of those pink shadings indicating rainfall amounts of around a three and a half or even four inches there and other surrounding areas may experience up to two inches of rainfall as we head throughout the rest of today and into very early tomorrow morning but as we head further south you can see that uh, much rainfall is not really expected, especially for Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, and even over towards Barbados. So a lot of rain is not really expected, although there can be those passing showers. But most of that activity through today is likely to be for the leeward islands, uh, most of the leeward islands. And then over in Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, there may also be some additional heavy rainfall activity. And there's already been quite a bit of rainfall in recent days across Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Those strong thunderstorms moving through, which were enough to actually uh, result in power outages across some areas. And so that shifted to the east. So a lot of heavy rainfall is likely to continue across parts of the leeward islands. And with that, there may be some instances of flooding, especially within those most vulnerable areas. And down toward the ABC islands as well, some showers have been moving by. That's likely to be the story as we head throughout today. Then as we look towards Hispaniola, Jamaica, and even some spots in Cuba, there may be some showers. And uh, same story for parts of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos islands and over towards the cayman islands much of central america most areas are not expected to experience any significant rainfall however it's been a little active along the caribbean coast of costa rica and even parts of panama as well we can see that down there is a bit more colorful so there may be some substantial rainfall within the area then finally down towards uh, south america colombia venezuela will remain quite active as well as parts of the guyanas as it relates to the wind forecast, this is for later this morning and we can see some of these blue shadings popping up. So for the most part, these winds could be over 20, 25 knots at the maximum as we head through today with higher gusts across much of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and even parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, maybe some spots in Jamaica as well. And speaking of Jamaica... It has been absolutely horrible along the coast because I went out for myself last evening just to see the damage done and I was astonished to say the least. And so I'll be showing you guys some of what I captured. But uh, back to the wind forecast, as I said, it's going to be quite windy across many of the Caribbean islands also going over into parts of the Lesser Antilles. But things have been calm for the ABC islands. Those waves have been calming down, by the way, across much of the Caribbean islands but uh, outside the caribbean along the atlantic coast of areas such as the dominican republic puerto rico and even offshore the virgin islands and northern leeward islands those waves are going to be kicking up and even towards the turks and caicos islands and the outermost bahamian islands as well we can see some of those uh, greenish yellowish shade into there so those wave heights could be up to 9 10 even 11 or 12 feet within those areas and also for bermuda out there very active so this is some of the footage of what i captured along the coast of montego bay a portion of the coast you can see just how extensive that damage is and when i arrived uh, some areas were so unrecognizable and i just could not believe that the waves actually did this i mean i was expecting that they were going 
going to be quite enormous based on the forecast. I've been、uh, talking about it even before it happened, and、uh, to actually see the damage, though it is just appalling. So. This is what happened not only for Montego Bay but other areas in Jamaica, such as Ocherias and Negril, have also been devastated by the waves. And also the Cayman Islands, they took a pretty massive hit from the frontal system. And so、uh, it's just a very unfortunate situation for parts of the Caribbean and elsewhere. There's probably been some flooding in Puerto Rico, as I mentioned before. There has been some heavy rain, and then today, throughout the rest of today, we are going to see more heavy rain moving through parts of the Leeward Islands. And so I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually did a video on my second channel in the latter part of last year, talking about the typical impacts in the Caribbean during an El Nino winter. So we would、uh, typically have these lower temperatures, things being chillier, and、uh, even these stronger cold fronts making their way by. So I talked about it, and that is exactly what we've seen unfold this week. So. That's been the story, guys. And、uh, now let's go ahead and move on to the temperature anomaly map. So it's been very chilly.、Uh, that cooler air has set into parts of the Caribbean and the Bahamas as well, and even over into Central America. And that's only going to be persistent throughout the week. So it's going to be chilly, especially in late evenings and nights, and also the early morning. Hours and especially for those areas experiencing those very windy or overcast conditions, it's going to feel even cooler. Now on to the Saharan air layer. So the dust is still in the neighborhood. We can see it here.、Uh, this is a forecast for well earlier this morning, and we can see these brown shadings across parts of the Caribbean and South America. Now the Saharan dust has its downsides, such as triggering those breathing issues and even those allergies as well, and resulting in skin and eye irritation. As well as reduced visibility, so it's not the best thing to be around, but it is here, and、uh, it has been blanketing the eastern islands of the Caribbean, and we see that there is a lot of it still out there. Now, what has been preventing much of it from entering the Caribbean? Well, that's the work of the cold front. So, with the cold front making its way out. Uh, a lot of dust is not going to be entering for the short term. However, once it dissipates, then we are likely to see some more dust enter the Caribbean region, especially under the influence of a reinforced area of high pressure out there, the subtropical high, which、uh, steers it from east to west across the region. So that is what is going on, guys, and that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. Video, so I really do hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, as always, please do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be otherwise.